People who call a north side apartment complex home say enough is enough. They're still waiting for power to be restored to their apartments following last Thursday's flooding and fire at the Island Point Apartments. Sky 4 video from today shows fire crews still there. And today, two local politicians joined their cry. State Representative Tracy Davis and City Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman were there. They were trying to get answers and the power back on. News for Jackson reporter Jim Piggott was there with them and joins us live from outside the complex. Jim, any luck? Well, not yet. In fact, I'll tell you, it was supposed to be back on maybe tonight. That's not going to happen. I just got word from JEA that it looks like for about 30 to 40 units without power, that could happen tomorrow morning. You know, people here at the complex have been coming up to me. They are just angry. They're disgusted, they're basically saying. But I'll tell you, between all of the agencies and everyone involved, there is a lot of finger pointing going on. On Thursday, it was this flooding from Tropical Storm Nicole that started the problem. It led to a fire and apartments being damaged and a portion of the complex without power. The electrical surge damaged the system and since then, restoring power has been slow. From Sky 4, you can see the complex today. Some repair work to the electrical system has been made, but power is not back on for some. And many of those residents are frustrated, trying to get answers, like this woman who did didn't want to be identified. This has been going on now, and every day I ask, I'm being told, well, we're working on it. We're trying, but it's not enough. I'm displaced, and for the money we pay out here, no one should be. People living here say they're required to have renter's insurance, but have to pay for hotel rooms up front, and they won't be reimbursed until later. That's presenting problems. Some have called city councilwoman Jacoby Pittman, hoping that she can help and pressure the complex to get the electricity back on. It's disturbing to me that it's been, this is day seven, um, it's still a hurricane for people who are living on this property and have not um, gotten any electricity. She and State Representative Tracy Davis were out in front of the complex today trying to get answers. They are pushing JEA and the city to move ahead with permits and trying to find out ways to help those without power and to get them money for temporary lodging. We're making calls for my office to see if there's something we can do as a state but in the meantime, we're trying to get some local help from folks here. Um, but the, at the end of the day, we need to get the power back on. We've seen JEA crews, city inspectors, and others come and go from the complex. The manager told me off camera it's frustrating because they have electricians doing the work, but they're still waiting for the city to sign off so JEA can turn the power back on. JEA says they're here and waiting to do just that. You know, when it was this afternoon, I heard back from the city and they're basically saying the problem is with permitting and the way it's done. So they're expediting this and we thought we could see some power back on tonight. But since it's getting so late, we're now told from JEA it could be tomorrow morning. But these residents, they just say, yeah, they just want to see it happen. We're live on the north side. Jim Pigott, Channel 4, the local station.